anyway, after about six weeks of non-fishing. 18th of October, I think, was the last time I went, and it's now the 24th of November. So, yeah, um, itching to get out there. Come to the river this morning, it's well up after all this rainfall we've had. Definitely a good three foot extra water in it, I'd say. Good pace to it as well. So, it's going to be challenging today. Quite a cool day, it's only 8 degrees today. Water temperature is about the same, I think. So, very challenging, but hopefully, I've got some bait with me, we can get, get the swim fed and I mean, even one fish in this in these conditions is a good result so fingers crossed let's get one all right let's get the gear out of the car and um, set up catch me in a bit well i've walked about half a mile from where i parked up and uh, this is the first thing i'm swimming i'm going to try i call it the hole this is a nice deep hole just so that you can see how the water's Really pushing through on that far side. Oh, it's inside this little slack area. It's about eight foot deep here. So if there's any fish that want to get out of the way, we can push off. Shoot straight to them. Let's get a nice good little bit like that. A nice size ten on. A little bit smaller. See the hook in it like that. Push the knot down. Track it off there. And try and leave the hook point showing if you can. Fried bread, it seems to be interested in bread, so cheese paste just wants to smell of what we call it. Pushing through, but I found a nice overhanging tree and put cheese paste underneath it. Hopefully, we can get one last trip out for a while there. But yeah, this area looks good. Maybe I should try down here first, but it's a learning curve still, isn't it? That's what I like about river fishing, it always changes, challenges you. But let's hope we can get um, one more trip for the camera. Stay tuned, guys. Morning, guys. Straight away.
do want to do that. This is not a bad one as well. Some good fish as well, that one. I'd say three, three pounds for that one, Defo. Oh, this chub's a bit of a strange shape. Straight back, he's got like a bent back. Poor thing. Well, he fought well still. There he is. Yeah, about three pounds, I'd say that one. It's on the cheese paste again. Uh, cracker. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got a bit of damage on his scales on this side as well. I don't know. Maybe someone's dropped him or something, unfortunately. I don't know. Mouth bleeding as well. It's not from my hopefully. Uh, happy with that. Well, that was instant, literally. I wish I had that shot like, camera rolling. I must have been cast out for like three minutes or something. The rod just poofed around. Awesome bite. I really it really wrapped it around like barbell style. It's a really shame I turned my camera off. Uh, happy with that, Chevin, now. Um, I've got half an hour left fishing. I might just be able to one more swim and try it. Thank you.